friends. It is the end of week two of my February Funtime Ink Extravaganza. And um, I forgot my glasses. So let's do an overview of how this week went. Um, as a reminder, I'm using these Twisby Ecos in EFFM Broad 1.1 Stub. I'm doing, you know, my journal writing with them one a day and I'm doing copying out poetry. So this week was a little bit basic and we went with Shakespearean sonnets. So I'm going to do closer up. Right, um, I'll zoom in on them. Uh, so the EF. Looks surprisingly. <laughs> I feel like maybe this EF writes like an F because I was feeling like my F writes like an EF, but I suspect it's the opposite. The fine nib was awful. It is awful. It's super dry. I did not enjoy it at all. Hated it. Um, <laughs> so after I dump all this out into a vial <laughs> for later use. I'm going to take a look at the nib and see if I can, uh, like, take a look at the nib and, f and feed and see if it needs some adjustment. The medium was my favorite. Um, nice and juicy. The, the ink is uh, far more legible in this one. The broad... Um, I don't know if it's obvious that it's getting lighter towards the bottom. You're laying down less ink. I did take this to MicroMesh to try and fix <clears throat> the horrible baby's bottom on it. Can we come up with a better name for that? I was thinking something involving peaches because they're kind of butt-shaped. Anyway, that's an aside. At any rate... I have improved it, but I don't think it's fixed. The 1.1, also lighter as it went down. I mean, that could be a case of hand oils, but it didn't feel like that. I feel like what's happening is the shimmer is clogging it, and then less of the ink is getting through. Um, so... Medium was my favorite. Fine was the absolute worst. And the other three, I don't know. Um, so in the sonnets I picked, let's zoom in. I did sonnet 130. I like this one. To me, it's kind of like a jibe at other poets of the era. You can see that really summarized in the last couplet. And yet, by heaven, I think my love is rare, as any she belied with false compare. In other words, y'all, these other folks are lying about the traits that they're Lovers have. I'm going to keep it real and not lie about how awesome my woman is, but I love her all the same with all her flaws and her dun colored skin. <laughs> and in some perfumes, is there more delight than in the breath that from my mistress reeks? Ah, Willie. The next one I did was Sonnet 42 because I was like, what the? Like, this red is such, like, teenage nonsense to me. That I mean, I've read all of his sonnets at one point, but not – I don't know most of them. And this one is like, look, that you have her, that thou hast her, it is not all my grief. And yet it may be said, I loved her dearly, that she hath thee is of my wailing chief. 
a loss in love that touches me more nearly. In other words, look, I'm not angry that you have her, but I'm pretty angry that she has you. Because it feels like, you know, she betrayed him in that. And then it ends with, but here's the joy. My friend and I are one. Sweet flattery. Then she loves but me alone. So this could be interpreted as like sweet flattery. In other words, she's lying to me and this isn't true. But it also reads a little bit as like, oh, like high school rom-com. It was all a misunderstanding. That other guy was her cousin or something. (laughs) You know what I mean? Um, Hopefully this is in focus for you because like this is as good as it gets here. Um, Then we had Sonnet 29, um, which is like, William is depressed and he's hating life and then by chance thinks of his woman and he's like, oh, right, it's not that bad. (laughs) The when in disgrace with fortune in men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state. And trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries and look upon myself and curse my fate. And then for Mr. Broad here, Sonnet 116, which I picked because of its, you know, importance or featuring in the uh, Emma Thompson, Kate Winslet, uh, Sense and Sensibility movie, movie, let me not to the marriage of true mind admit impediments. Love is not love if it alters when alteration finds. Or bends with the remover to remove. Oh, no. It is an ever-fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken. Blah, blah, blah. And for 1.1, we did Sonnet 50. Um, Why did I pick this one? Oh, yeah. This is the, like, baby, I'm sad to leave you poem. For that same groan doth put this in my mind. My grief lies onward and my joy behind. Although it describes it as a friend and not as a lover. So I don't know if he's just being coy or what. I didn't really like do contextual and and poetic analysis on these. Um, So we're getting – hopefully this is – Pinsane down there asked for some close-ups of the writing. There's the crossed out word. Look, it happens. This is how real writing goes. Hopefully this is, ooh, look at that sheen. Ooh, or shimmer, I mean. (laughs) So that was the ink from this week, which was, uh, what was it called? Uh, La Pinceur la Lune. The Purple Jade Rabbit from Fowler. Ferris Will Press. Um, I enjoyed this week about as much as I thought I would. I don't know yet what I'm picking for next week. So that'll be exciting for me to figure out. I have to do that today, though. (laughs) Now we'll do close-ups of last week. The writing. This is, again, Diamine Earl Grey. I, too, sing America. Besides, they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. And we had Sympathy by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. This is the, that was that EF, this is the F. There's good shading, but it's not as evident here. I think you can see it here in the medium, which is A Poison Tree by William Blake. I'm still not sure if this is like, yeah, think evil about your friend because it might kill them. Well, not your friend, your foe. And in the morning, glad I see my foe outstretched 
beneath the tree. It feels like he wrote a lot of like very Christian stuff and that to me seems decidedly (laughs) unchristian. Like, yo, I planted my evil thoughts and they killed my friend. Score. It's like, you know, anyway. Uh, Symptom Recital by Dorothy Parker and my beautiful Brad. I love Dorothy Parker so much. Teenage Maria really loved Dorothy Parker. (laughs) She's such a way with words. And then in the St. Vincent Millay, what lips my lips have kissed and where and why. I think it's untitled basically. And so they just call it by its first name. Do, 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 do. I don't try to do fancy writing for this, just to be clear. This is just kind of a slightly neater version of my normal scrawl. <laughs> so, please, feedback on uh, blurry close-ups. Um, and uh, if you have any suggestions for either of my next two inks, Well, it might be too late for my next one, but we'll see. Please put them in the comments. Uh, Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope that whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Bye.